Friends, welcome back to watching me build my diesel electric submarine. So I've had some progress. I installed this, I don't know if you can see it very well. Move this shifter lever, maybe then you can see it. I've installed this um, selector switch. So the batteries are in, they're mounted, and they're wired. Well, they're wired to the battery switch. So the way that that'll work is I keep it on all, so all batteries, uh, except for when I dive. When I dive, then I switch to uh, battery bank one, which is the two big batteries under here, and that runs the electric thruster motors and the external lights. Uh, so the reason I'm doing it like that is I don't want to deplete the battery to start the engine. So that would really suck you come to the surface and you can't start your engine because you depleted the battery too much. So as soon as I surface, then I can either go to all the battery banks or I can switch it to number two here, which is the battery in the back and I could fire up the engine and then once it's running, I can switch it back to all and charge all the batteries. So uh, that's how that works. And then I installed, well, I haven't installed yet, but I built a mounting system for the scrubber. So this is the scrubber and the plastic mounts are not screwed down yet. I just cut these out of some one inch uh, heavy plastic. So this is the scrubber that's good for 36 hours for one person. So that just sits in there. There's a little aluminum locking piece there. And once I put whatever I'm putting on, on these wood panels, then I'll screw this down. I could screw it down now for that matter. It's all pre-drilled and everything ready to screw down. So I've ordered, I've also ordered um, a seven switch electric panel which will be mounted in this area on an angle so I can see it while I'm piloting the sub. And I've ordered uh, 50 feet of seven conductor trailer wiring. So it's, um, it's seven wires in one bundle. It's just really clean that way. So you just drill a hole through each ring. You send the wire back. Well, actually, in this case, I'll run it under the floor beside so I don't have to drill. And then it'll go right back to the water pump, to the fan, take power from the switch panel, come across, power to the scrubber, exterior lights, interior lights, and up to the switch panel. But, um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, and I also ordered um, uh, four interior light strips. So they're like a fluorescent light bulb. And so those strips are going to be mounted to the ceiling. I'm not sure where yet, but wherever makes sense. So it'll be nice and bright in here. And then I guess I'm going to start working on the air, the air distribution system to each ballast tank and from the holding tanks and the compressor. So the way that the compressor works is you can either send air to the air holding tanks from the compressor or you can just uh, take water out of the variable ballast tank to surface and then use the compressor to just pump air, ambient air from inside once the hatch vent is open to blow the ballast tanks. So you need some valving to do that to isolate, to isolate the uh, holding tanks. I had that before and it's no big deal. I've already got it but I want to get the right size hoses and make it nice and clean because normally I just use what I have, but I would like to have everything nice and neat and tidy now that I'm f putting it together fine, like the final assembly. So, pretty happy with this. I really like my swinging seat. Oh boy, every time I try it out, oh man, I just love it. It's really coming along, it's really comfortable, and it's really, tidy. I like that. Like this, this mounting, this electric switch is really tidy. It's up against the wall. It's really funny because I found this aluminum panel to go in here and I didn't even have to cut it. It just fit. It was perfect fit. Imagine that. So that's really looking good. So I've got room here for some switches. 
that I can turn on when I'm, you know, just hanging out in the sub, I might want to turn something on so I don't have to go to the main switch panel. That'll evolve. Like whatever I need to add, I can just add it in there because I have all the power source right here, so it's really quick to tie in. I'll put a breaker in there so I don't have to worry about blowing fuses and whatnot. So that's it. That's it for today. Ciao.